How would you like coming home to a spa retreat from a long day of work? Well, I have a great way to achieve just that in a two-part series. So sit back and get ready for a spa day. Hello everyone and welcome to part two of my bath spa series. <laughs> what you're looking at is my empty bathroom. Yes, there is nothing here. I, I wanted to um, start over anyway in my bathroom, so I took everything out. You don't have to do this to create a bath spa, of course, in your bathroom, but I wanted to redecorate it. So. I took everything out to start from scratch. And what I started with first is my main focus point here. And this this beautiful artwork. Uh, it reminds me of a Japanese art. And I love it with a big brown circle and a black graphic design in the center. So I, this is where we're going to start. Um, the bath spa will mainly be on this area. I would give a bathroom tour later down the line so you can see what our bathroom looks like. But this is just for the bath spa. So we're going to concentrate mainly on the tub area. But I will give you a brief look at the bathroom so you can get a layout of what we're working with. So here's the bathtub, of course. And then here is the showers on both sides. On this wall here is where I have the towel uh, rack. And then we have the sink and mirror on this side. And then we'll swing it back across um, on the other side. This is where I did the first um, video for the bath spa series. And um, if you're interested in that, um, I will put the video in the description box below. Over on this side is the other sink. And we have a flower arrangement and the uh, single sink here. So this is what we're working with. So let's begin turning this empty bathroom into a bath spa. Candles. Simple. Yes. Effective. Definitely. Placing candles around your bath is extremely effective for relaxing and it's a cost-effective way of beginning the transformation. Just these five little candles here looks completely different. Then again, it was an empty bathroom, but it does set a, a transformation toward a spa-like feeling. And it can be cliche, adding candles around the tub, but it's very effective. Right here in the center, you see three candles here that I decorated with ribbon to match the decoration on the wall. These three candles are flameless. The two over here are actually burning candles. There are three quick candles and they are very large in a um, glass hurricane. So as you can see here it makes a big difference adding candles around the tub. So now let's add the next element and those are spa-like materials. Okay, I added some more elements to transform into a spa-like vibe. The first element I added was stones. Stones always looks nice and it gives that spa-like feel and I added stones here to this platter. Also, I added stones inside the candle um, containers right at the bottom there as you can see on these three and right on the bottom of these two hurricanes. Another element I added is teak. Teak is always used in a spa-like bathroom is waterproof and it's a great material to use in your bathroom. Here I have a teak bench. I got this bench at TJ Maxx some time ago. Uh, the same with these candles. Most of these things I had for some years now. So you can look around your house and find these things. If not, I'm quite sure TJ Maxx might still have this 
bench. I'm not sure, but it's a beautiful bench as you see here. It's stained a cherry color, but it is teak and it's gorgeous. They also have teak bath mats or shower mats that I was going to get to put on each side of the shower, but they haven't arrived yet. So I'm going to have to do without until they get here. But those are the two materials that I added to give that spa-like feel in the bathroom. Stones and teak wood. Okay, let's see what else I've done. I added a plant here. A cluster of house plants gives the room an inviting feel and it adds life to the room. I don't have a green thumb, so I chose to use faux plants. <laughs> Live plants add a great accent to the bath spa. It also gives off oxygen and it gives you that zen feeling, especially if you have orchids or anything like that. So for those who can grow those things, <laughs> by all means, use live plants. But for those of us who can't, faux pant plants do just as well for the look. So here I just threw together uh, some grass kind of, what are these called, picks in a nice glass vase uh, with um, some branches. Also on the vase, I've added some stones in the vase here, if you might be able to see it, but there are some stones there that I added also in the vase. As you can see, I added some white towels to the towel rack here on the wall. What is the first thing that comes to mind when you think of spa? white fluffy towels of course. I love wrapping myself in a fluffy white towel when I step out of the relaxing hot bath. It's very comforting. So plenty of white towels is a definite yes. So we have towels here on the wall. We have towels on the teak bench. So now that we added the towels, I also added a couple more things. A nice relaxing pillow on your tub. It has suction cups on the back so you can they will stick onto the tub nicely. I also added some, a diffuser for aromatherapy. Aromatherapy and sound plays a big role when you talk about spa. So don't forget about the relaxing aromas and music in your space. This diffuser came from Pier 1 and is sitting on my tub surround. And also, um, I have speakers in the ceiling here, if you can see it over there, and a speaker over here where I uh, have a playlist to play my spa relaxing music. So, of course, if you don't have speakers in your home, you can have your iPod um, on your dock or you can have a radio on, whatever pumps music in, with, in your spa area is a good idea to have. It sets the mood and it also creates relaxation. So now let's keep adding what else we need to create our spotlight feel in our bathroom. Okay, I almost done. I added some last little things to almost complete the look. Over here in this tray, I added some oils, my bath salts, and my bath tea so they'd be ready to pour in, in the bathtub. And over here, I added a silver tray with the bath scrubs, my bath wrap, body wrap, and my spa shoes with my spa headband. So I'm all set so far. And now we're going to do the last of it. And then I will give you the reveal of what it finally looks like with the light, the candles lit, and the bathtub filled, and everything ready to um, use. So stay tuned. So last and but not least, encourage prolonged relaxation by adding a bathtub tray, a glass of or a cup of your favorite beverage, a great book to read. These all are great things to add, but for me, I only need my favorite beverage, low lighting, and some music. So let's review. 
Less is more when creating a spa retreat. Clear all the clutter from the counters around your tub. Use plenty of candles and some spa materials like stone, antique, or bamboo. Gather plenty of white fluffy towels. Add music and aromatherapy using a diffuser or scent candles. Encourage relaxation. Then lastly, add the details. Spa slippers and a robe, silver tray, body lotion, scrubs, and bath salts, a little treat for the palate. I hope this spa retreat details give you some idea on how to create your own. Until the next video, smooches. Happy spa day.